Well, what we did today was we set up traps for adult mosquitoes in the drain lines to determine the presence of adult mosquitoes. And what we can tell from that is if we're going to have an outbreak of uh, mosquitoes in that area. This is a light source. And uh, usually in the summertime, we also use dry ice to, to get the carbon monoxide on it. But uh, since they're in the dark, what they do is they see the light. They come to the light, and as soon as they come in here, this little vacuum here sucks them into the net. And that's how we get them in there. It's important because it uh, gives us a indication of where we need to start uh, treating for mosquitoes. Remember, mosquitoes uh, carry diseases. Uh, what's prevalent out in this area is West Nile. So what we want to do is we want to monitor ahead of time to make sure that we can treat the areas where uh, any mosquito outbreaks occur. If you see one, like on this one, it's just like a single, like a little stick, which is a proboscis, that's a female. See, that's a female, that female. The best way to take care of mosquitoes around your home is to remove any stagnant water. Uh, look for stagnant water, especially after a rainfall, in areas like dog dishes, uh, flower pots, uh, bird feeders, uh, bird fountains. And uh, gutters are a lot of areas where we find mosquitoes. We're out there. It's just we're in areas where people do not commonly associate uh, mosquitoes. We're in reservoirs, we're in ditch lines, and also the fact that we're out at hours when most people are in bed uh, fast asleep.